In this video, you will learn how to create a pre-preparation copy. This workflow may come in handy for restoration cases where you already have a scan of the patient's unprepared tooth. Using this workflow, you will only have to scan the preparation itself, not the rest of the arch. First, select the existing sent case of the patient in the patient's window. It is marked by the envelope icon. Then select the order form window in the workflow bar at the top. You may notice that everything in this window is greyed out and cannot be modified. It is a safety measure implemented to avoid accidentally modifying the order. Once in the order form window, to create a pre-preparation copy, click on the Tools button and then click Copy. There are two options in the copy window. The standard copy includes all data from the old order, apart from the order ID, which will be different. All modifications done to the new order will not have any influence on the old one. The pre-preparation copy also includes all data from the old order, apart from the order ID. All modification done to the new order will also not have any influence on the old one. In this case, however, while sending the new order, the scans from the old one will be added as pre-preparation scans. Select the pre-preparation copy. The scans are now copied. It is important to note that the case you are copying must still have the original raw data. However, Trios will automatically delete this raw data after a certain period of time to keep your hard disk healthy. There are two ways to ensure you have the required raw data. The first way is to make sure that the preparation scan is made within approximately one month after the first scan. By doing so, the raw data will not have been removed yet. The second way is to mark the original case, Protect from Cleanup, under the Tools menu. This will tell the TRIOS not to clean up the case, and you will be able to continue to use the case for pre-preparation for extended periods. On the Order Form window, select the tooth to be restored. Restoration type and material in the usual manner. Notice that because the pre-preparation copy has been selected, the Enable Extra Scans option is greyed out and the pre-preparation button cannot be selected. Continuing to the Scan window, you will notice that all scans have a green checkmark, except for the upper arch that needs scanning for the prep. Now select the upper scan. Before scanning the prepared tooth, it has to be trimmed away from the pre-preparation scan. To do that, choose Trim in the toolbar. You can select your preferred thickness of the tool. Paint the area that you want trimmed. Please remember to also trim the contact points so they may be scanned. The selected blue area will be rescanned in the next step. To have a better visibility of the scan, you may opt to turn off color on the tool bar. Now scan. and mark the tooth in the usual manner. While preparing a tooth after a longer period of time since the pre-preparation scan, the whole bite might have changed. Therefore, it is recommended to scan it again. To do that, select the bite step in the workflow bar. Now choose the clear option in the toolbar and scan the bite. Remember to scan at least four teeth to achieve the best accuracy. The scan is now complete and you may evaluate it on the Analyze page. Here you may check for undercuts and check if there is enough room for the restoration by using the clearance tool. You can now send the order. Go to the Send Order window. Notice the comment indicating that the order is a copy of another order. Now you can send the order. You have now learned how to create and use pre-preparation copy. We hope our video was helpful. Thank you for watching.